Yeah. Oh, I was just seeing those sweet chili heat. You know how they hurt my heart. Mm, hot burn up in here. Right there. Right there. So, Happy New Year's to everyone, first of all. I just want to make sure we get that out of the way. I don't want anyone hating on me after or before. Uh, what's up, ladies? What's up, gentlemen? Today, we're going to be talking about the Strait of Hormuz. It's a big issue right now. It might cause something called... Absolutely not. Listen to me. But it shouldn't. And what is going on in the Strait of Hormuz? First of all, what is the Strait of Hormuz? I don't even know. It sounds kind of funny. Sounds sort of like hummus. And what's hummus? Hummus, you know, is the spread you put in the pita, you put some shawarma, some falafel, you eat it, it's, it's good. It's very good. So from now on, since you all know what hummus is, we're going to call it the Strait of Hummus. Okay? Strait of Hummus right now. So, what's going on there? Well, what is it? It is like a pathway of water, like a river almost, but not really. It's like a tiny little tube that connects the Persian Gulf, which is beside Iran and Saudi Arabia, to the Indian Ocean. One third of all oil that travels by sea goes through this little like, like that, like, like that. It goes through there. And what's going on is Iran is threatening to close it off. And why? Why are they doing this? Because they know that America drinks oil for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And if they do that, America is going to go back in a recession. Hold up. Wait a minute. Why would, why would Iran want to put America back in a recession? Well, it all boils down to one thing. Iran wants to develop a nuclear program without any oversight with the world. And it's basically a question of sovereignty. Right? Iran wants to do what it wants to do in its country. It doesn't want anyone up in their business. It's like when my mom comes into my room and she's like, clean your room. I'm like, mom, this is my room. I want to do it when I want to do it. You know, you can't tell me what to do. And basically, but it's her house. She's like, oh, it's my house. So you do what I want you to do. So that's sort of what's going on. Because America is like, it's like the overseer of the world. And Iran's a country in the world, but Iran feels like it doesn't have to fall by any rules. It, can, it doesn't need any international oversight for its nuclear program. But America is like, I don't know, maybe you guys are going to blow us all up. I can't trust you. So that's a big issue right now. So they're threatening Iran. With, <laughs> with war. No, not with war. That's crazy. That's crazy. Not with war. They're threatening them with economic sanctions, which would make it really hard for Iran to do business in the world. So Iran, as a result, is trying to say, okay, if you bring that on to us, you want to bring that to us? We're going to block the Strait of Hormuz. And what's that going to do? That's going to make all gas prices go up by 10 cents per liter. You know what that means? That means I'm not, my brother isn't going to go pick up his girlfriend because gas is going to be too expensive. He's going to be like, oh, I don't like you. I don't know. We've been we've seen each other five years, but now 10 cents, I don't like you. You know what 10 cents is? That's a junior chicken. I can't miss out on the junior chicken. How about the mayo, man? The mayo is an extra some, some 10 cents, 20 cents. I can't, too much money, I don't want to deal with it. So that's why you guys need to care because if Iran does that, all prices will go up. And it will put America back in a recession. That's called the supply shock. It happened in the 70s with the OPEC oil crisis. And it can happen again, people. History repeats itself. So please, be conscious of what's happening. Because the next thing you know, you're not going to pick up your girlfriend. You know, you won't buy your junior chicken anymore. Because gas and everything's going to go up in price. And why? Because there's a standstill that's possible and inevitable if America and Iran don't speak about their... Their issues, America doesn't, you know, try to deal with the fact that Iran doesn't want international oversight. And Iran doesn't, you know, say, okay, we're not going to choke off oil to you guys. So that's what's going on right now. So, to finish it off, I just want to say Happy New Year's. I love all my viewers. And hopefully in the next year there won't be any problems. But I just want you all to know that tomorrow morning... 10 cents per liter, brother!
You don't want to deal with that. That's all, everybody. Switch to the heat. That's how we do. We are Fox News. Out.